When it comes to investment returns, investing in individual stocks provides investors with incredible opportunities. Sometimes a very small investment in one stock is all it takes to become incredibly wealthy. However, as with any investment strategy, there are both advantages and disadvantages to consider. But if you decide to take on the challenge, the reward could be life-changing. Have a look at the pros and cons of investing in various stocks, and stay tuned until the conclusion to see how you can gain access to the great potential of stocks with long-term growth and stability. Welcome to Cashflow Canvas, where we teach lessons about investment and money-saving techniques. If you want to make your financial future better, make sure to like this video and subscribe to our channel for the latest updates. The potential for enormous gains is by far the most exciting component of investing in individual equities. Certain equities have been demonstrated in the past to be volatile. In fact, even mature companies can provide market-beating returns, lining the pockets of their investors. Those with the foresight to buy in prior to a period of growth sometimes amass large fortunes, for example, those who invested in tech giants like Amazon, Apple, and Google during their early stages have amassed large fortunes, witnessed exponential growth in the investments they made far outpacing the overall market. An investor who piled $10,000 into Apple stock in the year 2000 would be sitting on over $2 million as of June 2023. This example is somewhat of an outlier, but it is possible and common to make excellent returns by investing in lesser-known stocks or companies that aren't among the world's largest continue to be a major draw for investors seeking to outperform the market. Unlike passive investment strategies, in which investors transfer the administration of their assets to specialists, owning individual stocks allows them to have a direct influence on where their money is invested. Being actively involved entails completing extensive research, examining financial statements, evaluating firm fundamentals, and staying current on market trends. This hands-on approach enables investors to make educated decisions based on their own research and beliefs. As investors become personally committed to the success of the companies they own, active participation can develop a sense of ownership and accountability. The challenge and engagement that come with stock choosing can be a gratifying component of investing in individual equities. Unlike investing in impersonal funds and ETFs, purchasing individual stocks can elicit a sense of pride, loyalty, and attachment to one's investments. Investors may develop an emotional attachment to the companies they invest in, especially if they admire the brand, the product, or the vision of the company's leadership. For some investors, this emotional connection may be driven by their admiration for the brand, product, or services offered by the company, and have personal connection to the company's principles. This emotional tie to the company's growth and success can result from its mission or service to society. Aside from financial gains, this emotional connection can lead to a long-term perspective, since investors are more likely to ignore short-term market swings and remain devoted to their selected companies. Individual equities are more subject to company-specific risk than diversified investments because they lack a feeling of purpose and participation in their investment strategy. Market volatility and unforeseen occurrences can generate enormous price changes that may or may not be justified, as the market frequently reacts emotionally. Smaller companies and those in emerging industries are especially vulnerable because they lack the stability and resources of larger companies. Even huge and established companies are vulnerable to upheavals that could entirely alter their destiny, as evidenced by the histories of companies such as JCPenney, Blockbuster, and Toys R Us. This is in contrast to investing in diversified funds, which contain a basket of securities from diverse industries and sectors. Individual stocks concentrate investors' capital in a small number of enterprises. This lack of diversification exposes investors to greater risk because the fortunes of their entire portfolio become heavily dependent on the performance of a few companies. If any of these individual stocks face financial difficulties or experience a decline in stock price, the overall portfolio can suffer severe losses. Assume an investor owns half of diversification is a fundamental risk management method that helps to disperse risk and defend against the potential downfall of any single investment if their portfolio is concentrated in a single stock. Stock selection takes substantial research and analysis. Investors must devote significant time to thoroughly evaluating firms, as well as discovering potential winners. This constant analysis necessitates ongoing commitment and expertise, 
which may be difficult for investors with limited time or experience. Furthermore, the investment landscape is constantly changing, requiring investors to stay informed and adapt their investment strategies accordingly. Individual stock investing is linked with volatility, and it is analogous to drafting a financial report. Roller coaster stock prices can swing wildly on a daily basis due to a variety of factors, such as company performance, economic conditions, geopolitical events, and investor sentiment. This volatility results in significant price fluctuations, sometimes for no apparent reason. While this unpredictability can present opportunities for rapid gains, it also carries the risk of substantial losses. For the emotional ups and downs that come with the territory, the key to overcoming individual stock volatility is to keep focused on long-term goals and avoid making hasty decisions based on short-term market swings. It is critical to remember that volatility is an intrinsic feature of the stock market, and successful investors must learn to accept it as part of their financial investment. Emotional decision-making biases, such as holding on to underperforming stocks owing to attachment or selling winners early due to fear can have a negative impact on investment results when journey investing in individual equities. Investors must be aware of these biases and exercise emotional discipline in order to maintain a reasonable and objective investment approach and implement good emotional management practices. Creating an investing strategy with defined goals and evaluating and rebalancing the portfolio on a regular basis can help reduce the influence of emotions on investment decisions. Investing in individual stocks may be an emotional roller coaster, and stress is an unavoidable part of the journey due to daily volatility in stock prices, market uncertainties, and other factors. The fear of potential losses can cause investors to have sleepless nights. The pressure to make well-timed decisions in order to avoid missing out on potential gains can lead to impulsive and emotionally driven actions. And the constant need to stay updated with market news and company developments can be mentally taxing, especially for investors with limited time and resource stress can cloud reasonable judgment, resulting in blunders and regrettable decisions. A portfolio with 80% in ECAPs and 20% in single stocks can be well-balanced. The allocation of 80 permits investors to participate. Broad market expansion, on the other hand, provides an element of selectivity and the possibility for bigger returns. Investors might handpick firms that they believe in, that connect with their beliefs, or that have high growth possibilities. Combining ETFs and individual stocks can provide the best of both worlds by limiting risk and maximizing possible rewards. While some individual investors have achieved spectacular returns and outperformed the market at specific times. Beating the market needs not just a thorough understanding of financial markets, but also the capacity to make timely and informed decisions. Investigation and according to studies, the majority of competent professional fund managers struggle to consistently outperform the market over time. For individuals with limited time resources and expertise, the odds of consistently beating the market are even more daunting. While there have been successful market beatings, the best approach for most people is to focus on creating a well-diversified and balanced portfolio that aligns with their financial goals and risk tolerance.